You know, interesting enough, I had this little island right here, and over the years, it has just been terrorized by Endermen. Like, all of this right here was caused by an Enderman moving a block of sand. We've got sand and grass missing. There's, like, just squares and stuff taken out of this island here. It's... I don't even think these two pieces are supposed to be here. Honestly, I think they probably belong somewhere else. But welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Lone Wolf Survival Series. Look at the house, man. It's got all types of vines growing all over it. I don't even know where these vines came from. There's not a tree on top uh over this house on this area right here one of the things we're going to be doing in today's episode uh, i w did a little bit of research that we need to do on these uh items that we got whilst we were in space we're up there floating around in the space rocks and things there was a particular item that we got i forgot i can't go that way anymore that we found and we i want to do some research on it is that always been that way you know i seem to remember that always being a thing Oh, I just thought about this. Check this out. What if, what if we had like a little landing pad up here? You know what I mean? Where I could just like fly in and, and then, you know, bloop. And we'd just be inside the house, you know, like a little landing dock. Oh, I don't know if I have the skill to pull that off. But wouldn't that just be cool though? That kind of just stuck out right there a little bit. Or maybe, maybe from this side, perhaps. Maybe not this side. What is going on right here? We've got all types of uh, vines growing everywhere. All right, so basically it's like a hard shell, right? And these things are able to teleport whenever we knocked them off. If you guys remember, they make the little blah, blah, blah sound and then they just kind of teleport everywhere. But from what we're able to gather on these things is that we should be able to harness some of that energy to make these boxes smaller and to put them in our pocket. So it's kind of like we have like a, a, a mobile backpack type thing going on see what else we can kind of uh, come up with here and here it is the movable box and then all we have to do is boop and stick it in our pocket this is awesome so now we can actually run around the the the, the world here and collect all of our bits while wow, it's late at night and uh <laughs> try to try to find all of our resources that we got scattered around for instance when you come in here into this little maintenance area and then come back here we've got four shulker i mean show uh, uh we got four chest double chest here we've got seven double chests here just full of stuff man like look at all the stuff that we got going on right here we we will be able to collect all of our thing what is this oh okay it's a it's a all right it's just some wiring stuff okay so i come up with a little bit of a project idea here and i've i've kind of said that did you just swim right through me he just came right across my slapped me right across the face with his freaking tail um yeah, so I, I kind of always had this vision of some sort of there being some type of underwater base right here. And I think that's what we're going to do now. You know, kind of like have like, um, maybe not a submarine, maybe a submarine bay. I don't know. This whole room right here may get repurposed because right now it was it was built to a, as, as the intention of building the ship back when we were you know having our uh, our ship being constructed over there and this was the room which we built all the pieces to it but i don't really see the purpose in it now um i don't know maybe it could be some type of multifunctional room so i'm thinking a little something amongst like this color palette oh i'm not a hundred i mean i'm kind of sold on it but i'm not a hundred percent sold on it um, I wanted to do something a little bit different than just, you know, some white concrete out here in the middle of the ocean. And I also wanted to do something without glass because, you know, a lot of underwater bases, they just, you know, circle and glass. So I think what we're going to do is some type of shape like this, maybe, maybe even something with a bit more of a rounded edge and that kind of just catty cornered off like that i'm not 100 percent too sure although i kind of do like this i think this is a good starting point man i will tell you guys one thing i am i am str 
struggling with this one. This roof design did not work well, mainly because like you can kind of see these little uh, water gaps, this thing is like having right here, and I am not really liking that at all. Um, part of me is not really liking the shape. It wasn't really what I was originally going for, but you know what? I think I think I can deal with that. Um, it's more the outsides of the building I'm having an issue with. I'm, I was digging these little prismarine block things, but uh, not anymore, man. I'm, I'm that I'm not digging that too much either. All right, some good progress has been made. I think one thing I still haven't done is put some type of support system underneath this uh, this structure right here. But you know what? I think it'll be all right. Um, I you know what? Looking at this, I may do this the the double stripe like I did for here and do it on both of them. That one and this one. On this side right here, I'm gonna bring this mountain out all the way to where it's. So this right here starts at this area. So it doesn't have just this weirdly awkward connecting into the side of the mountain. How I'm gonna make this work, I don't exactly have a clue just yet. One option is to uh, figure out how to make the elevator multi-floor, which is not something I have figured out yet. And I think that's gonna be comp really complicated to try to figure out. Oh, I get night vision while we're right here. Uh, but the other thing is to do is just make another elevator from somewhere in here because as you guys remember this room right here is it was originally designed to uh, during the construction of our spaceship but I've been wanting to repurpose it you know what I mean because I mean our spaceship is is completed but then again I mean in case we do need to make repairs like we had to make repairs coming back here you know everything is back into its tip-top shape so maybe we'll just leave it like that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll just leave this. Maybe yeah, we'll just leave this room like this as it is, and that down there is gonna be uh, what we do in the ocean. So we'll leave that as it is. But I was thinking about. Well, no, this is our lift. Oh, you know what? I actually have a redstone idea that might be able to work with that. But yeah, back on. Oh, or this could be the elevator room right here this little area right here that could take us down there i don't know i did manage to clean up all of the stroker boxes though so we got all of our stro uh, everything in, inside of our stroker boxes has now been put up stored in their proper locations it didn't take as long as i thought it was going to take and one room i actually completely forgot about is this room down here so this actually helped a lot uh as this all starts to oxidize i wonder if this shows up on our map it should just be actually right here are we just out of the map range? oh no no it's just right oh, okay it's probably too far under the water i really thought it was going to show up though that's uh, slightly depressing you know one place that we really should get back to is the farming area over here i had an idea of with this island i'm not going to spoil it just yet because i'm still Thinking in my head if it's even worth trying. What happened to that tree right there? Oh, this right here is a little chunk error. Uh, but not in the normal sense of a chunk error. This happened during the the update. Which update did the underground bit? Because I think somewhere underneath me um, is where it didn't update. So it's just a, a, a big blob of, um, oh, what you call it? Bedrock. Yeah, 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 it's bedrock, and I think it's actually right here where this tree is, is where that happened. Interesting enough. And right here where, ooh, where this stupid wall of water is. I hate this thing so much. Just, bloop. That's kind of funny. Whoa, it just automatically stopped raining. Okay. You know, this is really interesting, man. Having these, these, uh, these wings and being able to come all the way out here and explore the new... Well, not new, but past uh, explored areas. This right here is all regenerated. I didn't really know that. This is all different. This is, oh, yep, yep, yep. The little chunk errors here and there. Uh, right there. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh, wow, look at this. This area got really confabulated <laughs> during the updates. But you know, somewhere around here, I, I always forget where it's, actually, I think it's back here. There is the very first 
underground lush biome that we found and I'm try I always struggle to remember where it is actually I think it's right here somewhere yep yep here it is it's right here the very first lush biome that we ever found right here this is where I got all of my diamonds in this world and that's kind of that's why we've never really had any any problems with uh with the whole diamond situation here but how did I get down there though uh, I must have just pillared up. Okay, interesting. Yeah, taking this little little detour here, I, I just wanted to explore kind of this whole back area right here because I never really get to see it. There's another one of these um, outpost things right here. I don't think I've been to this one. I've been to the other one. I don't think I've been to this one. I'm trying to figure out where all the dudes are at. There's um, there's no one here. So maybe this is a glitched out one. Unfortunately. Oh, I don't have one of these. All right. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll take all this. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Just be, just because that was interesting. Oh yeah, a lot of discombobulated chunks going on right through here between swamps, plains, taigas. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on over here. All right, I think it's about time to head home. But that's going to be it for me today, everyone. I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to half slab the top of this right here. Right on the top on these very tips. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please click like button. If you want to keep me motivated to make more of these, please click subscribe. And I hope you all did enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next episode.